the back end of the distillery where all the hard work really goes on. I like to tell everyone that we are very proud to say that we are farmers and we grow the grains that go into our, into our bottles. We grow 90% of what goes into our bottles because in Saskatchewan, it's really tough to grow lemon peel and orange peel and those types of grain, those types of ingredients that are really common and just put the finishing touches on a gin. But we do grow all of the base grains. We grow rye, which is what I have in my hands here. We grow triticale, we grow wheat, we grow oats, and we grow barley. And that is what goes into the mash tank. This is the first step in the, in the distilling process. We add the grain, we add the water, and we add the enzymes. And the enzymes job is to break down the starches into sugars, and then, then we put it into one of the two fermentation tanks, and we add the yeast at that point, and that's where the yeast does its magic and turns those sugars into alcohol. So that is the process that we go through. It is something that we've learned uh, it's not a lot the recipes that we've had in our past or whatever. I just happened to marry a guy with a really good palate. And it's really interesting too that we come from the part of the world, Saskatchewan, where we are known for growing the best grains in the world. And if we can grow the best grains in the world for baking and for cooking, why can't we turn those into the absolute best spirits in the world? And that is our goal, to make some of the best spirits that you can find in the world. So terroir is something that you've heard about, most likely when they talk about wines. But terroir refers to the place, the climate, the agronomic practices that go into producing a special ingredient. And it's the terroir of Saskatchewan that we really want to harvest. And we believe that with the best grains in the world will come the best spirits. So I hope you enjoy the terroir as much as we do.